name is Mark Haskins, and I'm the designer of the La Corsa Grand Prix game. Welcome to the Strategy of Speed series, Volume 1. What I want to do in Volume 1 is just take you on a basic playthrough of La Corsa and give you a glimpse into some of the strategy that can make you a world champion. All right, let's race. Okay, we're running a four-car race. That means we have four suits established in the deck. Uh, the basic card order is from 1 to 12, so pretty easy there. There's a red line card, which adds 2 to the value of any card you play with it. And 1, 2s, and 3s are very special cards in terms of extending. So they're going to move your race car one space forward on the playing board. We're going to shuffle and deal all the cards out. Okay, let's take a look at what each race car has. Oh, this is a pretty good hand, it looks like. We got a 12, 11, we got a red line card. I think that's really key. Tens, yeah, pretty good. So here's some extends. These are gonna be pretty important. He's got only two extends. That's gonna limit his strategy. But he's got good cards. He's gotta to get to the front. Now the Brabham, he's gonna decide what card to play here to qualify. He can't, he doesn't want to give up that red line card, I don't think, at the start. Maybe he will. He's going to try to get to the front. He's going to play R12 to start. The R card is always on top, and when you're ready to qualify, you put your race car on top. Let's take a look at the Honda. Honda. He looks pretty good. Not a lot of high cards. That could be a challenge for him. And not enough extend cards to really get out in front. All right, he has two red line cards, the 12, the 11. That's not quite enough to start on pole. And he's going to want to buy this time a little bit. But he's going to try to get a decent start because he's got, he's got pretty good balance of these cards. He's going to use his 7 to qualify. Let's take a look at the Lotus. Okay, red line card. Okay, I'm fearing for the Ferrari right now. Not a lot of high cards. Boy, that, uh, that problem's looking pretty good right now. It's very hard to tell what the other cars have, but you have some idea based on what you know is in the deck. Now he's got a couple extends. Now I know who's gonna have all the extend cards. That's gonna be the Ferrari. He also is gonna play fairly conservative. He does not have any 12s. Boy, but he wants to get in the mix. He only has two red line cards. He's gonna, he's gonna stay in there. All right, Lotus is ready. The Ferrari, well, here's where all the extend cards are. He's got a lot, but I don't think he's going to have a way to get to the front. So he's going to be he's going to be playing a lot of these early. He's got a 12. That's for his last minute pass. He's going to be biding his time. This is not a good hand. He's going to have to do the best he can. He has no red line cards, so there's no chance of getting out in front and using those extend cards. He's only going to use them to catch up. Yeah, he's got no chance. He's going to he's going to start with Geez, even a four. He's going to start with a three. Everybody knows he's got the extend, so... Well, that is a bit of a giveaway, actually. He's not going to let everybody know he has all the extends by playing one. He's going to let them, let them guess where this race is going. Okay, all the cars are ready to qualify, and they begin by turning them over. Here goes the Ferrari, four. The Lotus, ten. Honda, seven, and the Brabham's really gone for it here with a 14. So the Brabham is up front on pole. Lotus is feeling pretty good about that second place with just a 10. The Honda, very, very fortunate with that seven for third, and the Ferrari's gonna play a waiting game. These cards are all discarded. And the race starts at the back of the field with the last place car. This is, in this case, is the Ferrari. It doesn't happen very often. 
He does not want to get rid of any of these cards right now, but he is going to play six. That may end up being a decent card for him, but he doesn't want to let everybody know he's got all the extends just yet. All right, he's going to try to maintain his position. He does not have a lot of good cards. He's going to play the five. <clears throat> he's got to wait to play his good cards, so he's hoping that the Ferrari, who played a four at the start, uh, is not going to play much. But unfortunately, well, there goes the Ferrari. And they exchange places on the board. Once you lose a challenge, your turn is over. And you're allowed to pass two cards before your turn is over or if you extend. So the Ferrari goes on to challenge the next race car, which in this case is the Lotus. Now he's gonna start revealing a little bit of a strategy because he doesn't wanna give up any of these cards. He does not have a lot and now he's in the thick of things. So he's gonna play a three. The Lotus on the other hand, well, he's feeling pretty fortunate to be here. In second place, he's gonna try to retain it. Maybe that eight is looking pretty good for him. As you can see, the Ferrari's only played a three, and his eight, well, it seems a little wasted, but he's happy to retain second place. Then the Lotus, attacking for the lead. He might want to go for it here. He doesn't have a lot of extends. This may be his one chance to get out in front. I think he's going to do it. He just has got to hope that the Brahm does not have an R11. And he's feeling pretty good. He can't even extend his lead, so I think he's just going to have to play the 12 here. Or maybe he feels like he wants to let this car go by. He doesn't want to give it away. He's going to play an 8. He's going to play a 9 see what happens. But the Lotus is much too fast. And he plays his 13 to the Brobham's 9, and that's a... That's a pass for first place. So now, it's still the Lotus's turn. He's got a space in front. And he, if he has a one or a two as the leader of the race, he can extend, and he's going to extend into that spot. This gives him a gap from the rest of the field. And all the other race cars need to make up this gap before they can challenge him. So he's in a good spot there. All right, once you have extended, your, your turn is over as well. And so we go to the back of the... Back of the race for the next lap. And here's the Honda. The Honda's feeling a little bit slighted here. He's got some good cards. When is he going to use them? I think he's going to use these red lines to make these a little bit stronger later in the race. He's going to go with the 8 again. He knows the Ferrari played an extend card. So he is not, uh, he's not too worried. He's going to play. The Ferrari is going to get rid of maybe his 1. And then it's game on. So he's still biding his time. The one loses out quite badly to the eight. And there goes the Honda. All right. Ferrari's turn is over. The Honda now challenges the Brabham. What's he going to do? Well, there's a good spot to move forward here, and he can do it. I think he's going to Man, I would probably play... He's got a lot of good cards. He might play an 11 here. Gives him some options. <clears throat> the Honda. Can he go by? Boy, he sure can. Does he want that spot? I think he does. I think the Honda gives it everything he's got here. He goes R12. And there it is. R12 for the Honda for 14, and the Brabham's only used an 11. He's going to have to bite his time to come back. There goes the Honda. That's two passes, so that's interesting. He's made two passes. He could His turn is over, so he can't extend into the spot. And now it's up to the Lotus for his turn. He's going to extend again. Not always recommended to do that. Sometimes you want to keep him guessing back there, but he's got sort of a dominant lead at the moment. All right, here's the Ferrari. Ferrari. 
still biding his time? I think he will be. He's going to play a seven. He's, he's going to give him a chance to get an easy pass. Boy, what's this Braum going to do? And he doesn't want to go too low here. It's getting pretty critical that he's already, <clears throat> he's already behind the leader by two spaces. He can only make him up with these threes. He's going to save that 12 for that Honda and see what happens. So there he goes. Ferrari with a 7, the Brabham with an 11. He holds on to third position, and now he's going to attack that Honda. He's going to attack with that 12 we were talking about. The Honda, well, he's going to do something interesting here. He's, he's looking at how he's going to get past the leader. And the only way to do that probably is to save at least an R10 for him. Maybe he hopes that Lotus doesn't have that much. But I think here he would probably play. Well, I think he'd play an R10 here. That doesn't seem like enough. R11? Okay. Let's see what happens. So Honda defends with an R11. The problem with the 12. And so he squeaks... He's, he doesn't squeak by, he holds him off. All right, so he's there, and he can extend, and he will go. That's a tough, tough break for that problem. But not having those, those red line cards is a real problem. Lotus, well, he's out of extend cards, so he can only discard. He's going to discard his lowest card. He's still got something for when they come get him. Okay, end of the leader's turn. Now back to the back of the race course. And is the Ferrari going to make his move now? Well, he's going to play one of these nines anyway. He's going to see what happens here. He's going to test this problem. The problem, whoa. he's going to play an eight. You know? And that's going to cost him. That Ferrari's going to go right around him. And we know the Ferrari can extend wherever he wants to. He's going to play a one there to make that up. And now we got the Honda. Honda can extend again, so now he's catching the leader. We know that the Lotus can't go any further, at least we assume so. And yeah, he's got no extend cards, so he's going to discard again. All right, to the back of the race course. The problem now making up space, but he's encouraged by the fact that no one's really stretching out too big a lead. He can make this up. The Ferrari, the same. He's going to extend two with the two extend card. No matter what the card says, you only extend one space. It's important to know that. And now for the lead. So the Honda, I think he's going to go for his best card against this Lotus because he, he, does, he fears this Ferrari behind. Let's see what happens. The Lotus, well, he's got the same problem. He doesn't want anybody getting around him. He's going with his best card as well. And unfortunately, they're both the same cards. The tie goes to the leader. You can play if the, the tie goes to the defending, uh, the attacking car. Just another variation, but uh, we prefer playing with the leading car uh, breaking the tie. All right, so the Lotus discards. And we're getting near the end of the race now. He's only got a few cards left. When one race car runs out of cards, we finish the lap all the way through, and that's it. We tally up the points. All right, to the back of the race, the problem. The problem is uh, extending. So he's right in this. He's going to have a chance at the end. Depends how many laps we get out of this. And here's the Ferrari. The Ferrari's got a little something left. Uh, he saw that Honda play a 10 last time. He thinks that probably was his best card. He's going to get ahead of him with his 12. And the Honda is just hanging on. He's going to play his best card as well. We're right at the end of the race here. Seven. And the 12 of the Ferrari gets it done. And so now the Ferrari is feeling pretty good about things. He's bid his time. These guys really didn't have enough extend cards to go anywhere and get away from him. And now he is pouncing on them. 
right, there's the nine. He's gonna play the nine. He's gonna, Lotus is gonna play his best card too, which is a nine. And that's enough, again, to hold off the competition. And he has won on a draw two times, and it's his second to last card. He's gonna discard. He's got one card left. That means the next lap is gonna be the last lap. That means everyone is playing their best cards from here on out. And so it begins with the Brabham and the Honda. The Honda does not have much left. And the Brabham goes around him. Just like that. The Brabham, does he have something for the Ferrari? They're just all hanging on right now. This has been a very even race. No one's got way out in front. And the Ferrari plays an eight. Oh, the Brabham can only muster a seven. And so this is it for the race. <laughs> the Ferrari has nothing left. The Lotus doesn't know that. He's gonna play his only card, but it is his best card, obviously. He's got a six, and the Ferrari's only got a three, and the race goes to Lotus. And we tally up the points. Nine, six, four, three, shuffle and deal again, and race number two comes up next.